Nah, coba saudara lakukan latihan berikut seperti tadi. Dan ulangilah kalimat yang betul sesudah bird. Siap? Please don't talk so loudly. Would you mind not talking so loudly? Please ring me tomorrow. Would you mind ringing me tomorrow? Please show me your photograph. Would you mind showing me your photograph? Please don't walk on my flowers. Would you mind not walking on my flowers? Please don't drive so fast. Would you mind not driving so fast? Please don't touch the food. Would you mind not touching the food? Saudara pendengar, sampai saat ini kita telah berlatih mengajukan beberapa permintaan. Bagaimanakah kita menjawab permintaan itu? Coba dengarkan apa yang dikatakan oleh Chris dan Iwan. Chris, hmm. when a person asks a question, for example, would you mind opening the door? What do you say? Eh? I beg your pardon, Iwan. I asked a question. Well, eh... Uh... Would you mind repeating the question, Iwan? That's it. That's what I asked you. Uh, I don't understand. I don't know the answer. But I don't know the answer, and I'm asking you the question. Yes, Iwan. Would you mind repeating the question? Say the question again, please. When someone asks a question such as, Would you mind opening the door? What do you say? Uh, I say, sure. Sure? Is that all? Well, I can say, certainly, or okay, or... Would uh, you mind saying those again? Not at all. Uh, sure, certainly, okay. But you said, not at all. Really? Yes. Is that the best answer? What? Not at all. Is that the best answer? Uh, not at all. Well, I'm not sure. Not at all. Yes, some people say it, but I don't usually. I say sure or certainly or of course. Thanks, Chris. That's okay, one. Untuk menjawab permintaan yang memakai would you mind yang berarti tolong Atau apakah saudara berkeberatan? Kita biasanya ingin mengatakan, Tidak, saya tidak berkeberatan. Atau, Ya, saya akan melakukan apa yang saudara minta dalam satu jawaban singkat. Jadi, barangkali saudara akan sedikit bingung. Tetapi, orang yang meminta akan mengerti apa yang kita maksudkan. Jadi, untuk mengatakan, Ya, atas permintaan seperti misalnya, Would you mind closing the door? Kita dapat memberikan jawaban yang berbeda-beda. Misalnya, Certainly. Atau, Sure. Atau, Not at all. Dan kita dapat menunjukkan bahwa kita bersedia memenuhi permintaan tersebut dengan melakukan apa yang diminta. Coba dengarkan beberapa contoh permintaan beserta jawabannya. Would you mind helping me? Sure. What do you want? Would you mind passing me the hammer? No. Here you are. Would you mind answering the phone? Right. 
Would you mind coming into the house now? Okay. Sekarang, coba saudara ucapkan certainly sesudah Chris. Certainly. Dan sekarang, jawablah permintaan-permintaan berikut dengan kata tadi. Would you mind turning the radio on? Would you mind turning it up? Would you mind moving? Baiklah. Nah, berikut ini beberapa bentuk permintaan lain. Margaret akan mengirimkan pakaian hangat kepada Helen yang masih berada di Inggris. Coba dengarkan. Chris? Yes? Chris, will you come here? Hello, Ewan. Hello, Mrs. Scott. Chris, will you come into the dining room, please? Sure. Here we are. I'm making a parcel up to send to Helen. I see. Now, will you wrap it for me? Of course. There's string and paper and the scissors and some tape. Artinya, tali, kertas, gunting, dan pita perekat. Will you call me when you finish? I'm going into the other room. Sure, Mum. Now, let's wrap this parcel. Will you pass me the tape, please, Ewan? Sure. Here you are. Good. And will you pass me the scissors, please? I just want to cut this tape. Here you are. Thanks, Ewan. Tadi kita mendengar beberapa pertanyaan dengan ungkapan will you. Coba dengarkan lagi. Will you wrap this parcel? Will you call me? Will you pass me the tape? Will you pass me the scissors? Will you come into the dining room? Kalimat-kalimat tadi adalah permintaan yang sederhana. 